key for Walker, just finding the strike zone and getting some sink. A lot of ground balls tonight. To the left side, the third baseman up with it. Slade Offer back in the lineup tonight. I don't know if State uses that same matrix tonight. There's a ground ball to the right side, and R.J. Yeager up with it. And that's two outs. A couple of ground ball outs. And here's a 3-2. Way outside, and that's ball four. And a two-out walk to tie regional. Runner bluffs from first, and there's a pitch is down. That's ball four. First and second, two walks with two outs. A 1-1. Ground ball up the middle. Out to Leggett, underhand toss. That'll do it for the first inning. So he's not going to work with velocity. Now, as you see right there, and there's a pop-up down the right field line. Sunfield, right fielder over and making the catch is Devontae Rhodes. And there's a fly ball hit deep to left field. Park's not going to hold this one. It's a solo home run for Cameron James. And State has a 1-0 lead here in the bottom of the first. Nice job by Cameron James that time, just sitting back and then turning on the pitch that was up in the zone. And lifted into left field this time, and Caleb Evans, the left fielder, ranges in for out number two. And that's what Johnson's done. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Aaron Downs, and that ends the first inning. Bulldogs get a run on the board for three outs. And just like that, a fly ball. Into center field, Cameron James ranging in. And he's there to make the catch for out overall. And out to the shortstop and Ole into left field. Chop left side, Leggett rounds that one off, makes a strong throw to second, the throw to first, not in time. That's a really nice job by Tanner Leggett right Porter with a couple of men aboard, but that is what he has done. Walk the nine-hole guy. Two out, jam. Line drive into the stab, leaping, climbing the ladder. R.J. Yeager for out number three. Well, he takes away possible extra bases, no doubt. Save. Here's Hunter Hines. He rips that ball into right center field. And over to cut it off is Rose, but not before Hines can get to second with a leadoff double. Hunter Hines got a lot of action over third. Grounds the ball through the right side into right field. We'll stop the runner, Hines, at third. And back-to-back -back hits to get the second inning. And a walk. Four-pitch walk to Kellum Clark. That with the bases loaded, nobody out. And first pitch swinging, hits that ball well in the center field, ranging back to the track and making the catch is Jatavis Melton. Everybody's going to tag up, move up a spot. The reasons you need a lot of activity. Line drive, hot shot, one, one hop stab by the shortstop Gomez, but no play to make at all. The ability to run, and once he saw that ball get as deep in the hole as it did, knew that he could get home, and now a pitch. Light out the right field his first time up. And off the glove of the third baseman and into left field. Two runs are going to score. It's 5 nothing State. Here comes Jaeger sliding in safely with a double. And the Bulldogs have put a leaping catch on a line drive. There's a fly ball lifted into left field. That one should stay in the park. Evans ranging over there to make the catch, and that's out number two. Yeah. So R.J. Jaeger's over at third base. Yeah, Jaeger just moved over to third. Let's see, may, may they call it a balk here, trying to... Try to see. We're not the only guys needing some explanation. Chris Lamont is coming out. Headed over to third base. Okay. And there's and ball four. We'll score. And a wild pitch, and Jaeger going to come in and score. And it's 6 nothing State. And he walked him. Chop back to the mound. No play at second. He makes the throw to first in time for the out. Ground ball left side. Short stop up with it. Slings it across and time for the out, and that's two outs. It's way out of this. Hopefully we'll add to that. And he bounces it up there, ball four. Here's a one-two. And there's strike three caught on the outside corner. Didn't seem to care. The three-one. Missed inside, and that's ball four. Line drive right at the third baseman, Atterbury, and that's out number one of the four. Here's a 2-1, way outside, knockdown. Cummins is going to take off, and he's going to get to 
second base. The throw goes into center field. And Brad's going to stay right. Here's a 3-2. Got under that one into left field. Evans started back, now comes back in, and reaches up, makes the catch, and that's out number two. There's a shot in the left center field and hit well into the gap and off the wall. Cameron James on his way to second. It's an RBI double. Brad Cumbus comes in to score, and it's 7 nothing stay. Throw back to second. That's a ball. Morris Hodges said that was illegal. At least trending positively. Ripped into right field, and that will drive home another run. Hancock will stop it first. Nice job by Rhodes, the right fielder, to get over to cut it off. But Cameron James. And a fly ball lifted into shallow right field. Rhodes, the right fielder, coming in. Second baseman going out, and it's Rhodes who will make the play. What you can find. And that's ball four. It's the third inning in a row that Jackson State's got the leadoff man on. That ball cranked to left field and hit well. Back at the wall, looking up, it's gone. A two-run home run by Ty Hill, and Jackson State is on the board. The second home run of the season for Hill, and it's 8-2. That's Jess Davis, who had checked into left field for Mississippi State, went back, tried to find... And strike three called at the knees on the inside corner. That ball hit off the end of the bat into right field and ranging over to make the catch. Ground ball left side and leg it up with it. He'll toss it over, tie for the out, and that'll end the inning. And that's ball four and a leadoff walk here in the fifth. 3-2, that's downstairs and ball four and back-to-back -back walks. It's a ball hard into right field. They're going to stop the runner at third as Hines will put the brakes on. And so Jess Davis will bat first at bat of the night. It's a fly ball into center field. Backing up on it, Melton. He'll reach up and make the catch. Runner will tag from third. And coming into score is Hunter Hines. Ground ball to right side this time. And Ty Hill, the second baseman, makes the play. And that one missed inside. And the bases are loaded for Cameron James. Lined in the left field, that's a base hit. That'll play to another two. James on his way to second. The throw comes back into the infield. Hard hit ball out to the shortstop. Gomez up with it, throws it high and throws it away at first. Two runs gonna score, it's 13 to two. That ball hit off the end of the bat right out to R.J. Yeager. One pitch, one out here. In the and that one misses ball four. One out. And strike three called on the inside corner, and that's out number two of the inning. D1 baseball doesn't even have Vanderbilt ranked. That's the one that we use. Breaking ball down, and that will end the inning. And here's the 3-0 pitch. And it's high it in. That's ball four. And back. And that's ball four. Swing and a miss with the breaking ball down. The turf area. And there's a fly ball hit deep left field. Back goes Evans at the track. Looks up. Grand slam. R.J. Yeager. Well, he doubled earlier. The grand slam there. It's another good job of hitting by Yeager here tonight. And he ties Hunter Hines with a Walling win an inning, Forsyth win an inning, and Skinner strikes out swinging. Eh, that will get away. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Tap back to the mound. Could do it. To second for one, to throw to first, in time for the double play. And Mississippi State knocks off Jackson State in seven innings tonight, 17-2. to two. Well, Bulldog.